Good day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another awesome vlog. And today I'm sharing two curb appeal tips that can make you sell your property quicker. Let's get it started. Okay guys, so unfortunately common sense it's not always a common thing um, when it comes to a lot of the mindsets uh, a lot of individuals have. So I'm going to be very, very plain and simple. And I mean, what I'm about to tell you is probably like real estate 101. Um, we're really going down to the basics, okay? So look, my two tips for adding curb appeal to a property that you're looking to sell are this. The first thing is you have to paint the bloody property, okay? Um, so make sure that the property is uh, pressure cleaned, it's scraped, um, you're applying a, a paint um, that's not gonna stand out from other homes in the street. Um, what I mean by that is don't do any crazy colors like you know bright yellow, orange, red, or pink. Um, or green unless that's what other homes in the street look like and, and to be honest with you I say that because um, for example here in Toledo, Ohio uh, in the in the historic district there are a lot of funky colors and it looks really cool so if you do go with a plain color it can look a little bit too simplistic so you know you always kind of want to make sure that you um, stick to a lot of the other homes that are in that particular street but paint guys can go a very, very long way. One of the first things that I learned um, about renovations when I was in Australia and about rehabs, um, you know, is that you can actually paint a lot of things. You can paint the exterior, you can paint the interior, you can paint kitchen cabinets, you can paint a vanity, you can even re-enamel a bathtub. Um, so you can get away with um, painting a lot of things where you add more perceived value. A good rule of thumb is this, if you're spending $1 on that specific renovation item, you wanna be getting $3 back. So if it's gonna cost you $10,000 to paint your house, um, and without painting it, you can sell it for 200,000, but if you do paint it and spruce it up, you can sell it for 230,000, um, at a $10,000 cost for painting it, it's a good investment on your money and I would definitely go ahead and paint that home. Okay, so, so first thing is this guys, paint. Second thing is bloody curb appeal, okay? I don't want you guys having overgrown yards, crappy looking flowers, no mulch, driveway looks like crap. Um, I mean, these are some very, very simple things that a lot of prospect buyers will wanna see as they drive by or as they uh, inspect your home. Don't forget guys, first impression is every impression. If you can offer that wow factor um, from the beginning to that prospect buyer, um, you know, I think everything is gonna be running much smoother when they get inside the home. A lot of folks will just drive by and if they don't like the property, um, just based off of how it looks from the street, they're not even gonna um, schedule an inspection, okay? Um, so it's very important, guys, that that home has that wow factor, it has curb appeal, paint is a big one, landscaping, tidying up the front yard, the driveway is another big one. Here's a quick little, I guess, side tip also. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of real estate brokerages coming up with solar panel yard signs, which to me indicates that there might be a demand from prospect buyers going through the neighborhood in the evening to see, you know, what it looks like if it's if it's a safe area and whatnot. So maybe another good thing to do would be to add some kind of feature lights to the exterior of the home which can flash onto the siding which will just give it a really nice um, a glow per se or a pop in the evening. Um, I've always loved to see homes, especially the ones that have the pillars out front with a feature light going up the pillar. It just makes them look really, really cool like the White House per se, right? So look, that's a, that's a tip from me. Um, two things that you should do, very simple. Um, common sense stuff, not common all the time, right? Um, but in this instance, I think it is. Um, hey, I'd love to hear from you. What are some of your tips? What do you guys do to offer that curb appeal? Post below, comment below. That's it. Thanks for listening. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. Catch you in the next vlog.